god. Oh god! Nick! Nick! Go to the door! Oh my god, what was it, man? What was this emergency? What's I need your on? help! I need your help, dude. Okay, well, what's up? What do you need? I'm bored. Okay, well then come on in, buddy. Uh, what do you got? What do you got for me? Okay, all right, all right. Check this out, check this out. I went to this place the other day. It was awesome. They have, like, parties all the time. They serve cake and food. Cake? And ice. Yeah, dude, the cake is awesome. You gotta try it. Are you serious? You first. Yeah, you first. Go ahead. Just click the sign, that's it? Yeah, just click the sign, dude. That sounds good to me, man. So <laughs> What is up, YouTube? My name is Hawk Aim. And my name is Enigma Red. And welcome back to another Server Miner plugin review. Today's plugin is known as the Easy Warp plugin by a user named Nerds W B Nerds. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I said it here first. Uh, would you care to tell the people what exactly this plugin does, man? All right, so if you have a large server, or in this case, what we have is a very small server, this is the plugin that you need. It allows you to go as far as you really want to in your world. You can set up lobbies, you can set up games, creative area, whatever it be. Sweet, so let's get into the commands, man. All right, so with this plugin starting off, there's quite a few commands, but we're going to start off with the set warp command. Now, what this command does is basically just set to any of the warps that you'd like to place in your world. If you want to find any of the warps, first of all, you can find them with slash warps. Pretty simple. As you can clearly see, we don't have any, but to set one, all you have to do is find a spot in which you want to set. So let's go to this little house right here. Let's say I want to live in this little dirt hut for some weird reason, and I'll type slash set warp and the name that I want to give it. So I'll type dirt house right here. Boom. This has been set as the warp dirt house. All right. Now to get to this warp or any other warp with ease, what you have to do is set your yourself up a special easy warp sign. So what you're going to want to do is grab yourself a sign here. Let's go ahead and grab a sign. Okay, now, in order to set up a warp sign, all you have to do is place it anywhere in the world. You can set up a little, I don't know, a wall of all the signs that you'd like, but I'm just going to go ahead and place it right here. In order to set up a working sign, all you have to do is type first a quote like this, easy warp, and then an end quote, whatever you call those. I'll call them brackets for now. And then you're going to want to type in the name of the warp itself. So I named that one dirt house. So let's just type in dirt house. And of course, the last two lines are just a description of what exactly this warp is. So I'm going to say my poopy hut. There we go. Done. And with this, I can right click and boom, I'm in my home. So you can do this with any warp you want pretty easily. All right. So the next thing is you can actually, like I said earlier, find the list of all the warps that you made pretty easily with the command slash warps, or you can actually type slash list warps, which is a bit of a longer command. So I don't really see why you use that one, but yes, both of them work and both of them do the same exact thing. Now, if there's ever a time you don't want any of the warps in your warp list, all you have to do is type the command slash del warp and then the name of the warp that you would like to delete. So it's slash del warp and then dirt house. And there you go. It's no longer on the list. And lastly, for those of you that like to mess with the uh, config file and some of your plugins, you can actually go ahead and change anything in the config file of this plugin. And when you need to reload anything, all you have to do is type in the command slash easy warp reload. And this will easily reload the config file and make any of the changes that you've made to the config file. All right. So for anyone who wants to customize this plugin to work for their server, all you have to do is go to files, config files, and you'll see two files associated with easy warp. The first one is config. This is all the little parameters that you can mess around with. So server world is the first one. You can name this Hawk Ames world. And anytime it pops up, you'll see that that name, the name will automatically pop up in the world. You can set the delay. The delay is automatically set to 10 seconds in the config file, but you can shorten it. I had it set up to one and that's pretty much all there is for that. Now below here, you'll find some variables. The variables work along with these messages here. The messages are for the warp error and the config file reloading things like whenever you warp, it'll tell you server name of the server, Hawk games world, you have warp to, and then it'll give you the warp name that like canceled, completed, delayed. All these are here. And in the error, you'll find illegal character used, uh, no warp given or no permission to use this. All these messages can be configured. You use these variables up above to put in any where that you actually want that particular information to pop up. So it takes a little bit of fudging and getting used to, but it's actually not that bad. 
So down below, you'll notice that at the very bottom, there's these permissions. The permissions allow you to use another plugin called permissions with Easy Warp, basically so that certain players cannot use it in certain areas or at all. And that's basically all this is. Uh, allow to use signs, uh, allow to use Easy Warp, whether or not you can have delays for each warp, whether or not a player can warp to another player. And that's pretty much all there is to this. The config file is pretty simple. You just gotta walk through and figure out which one makes sense for you. Hit save and you basically want to make sure you save because otherwise you lose your information and the next file is warps these are a list of the different warps that we've set up so the first one is well that's the first warp that is in the world so it has all the information that's associated that's necessary x y z the yaw and the pitch and the same thing for dirt house you'll find the same exact information here and it all helps because if you find something is a little off you can sort of tweak it here you know if it's one block off one block higher whatever it's a little easier to mess with here and you hit save and once you have saved both of them you're going to want to go in the game and type slash easy warp space reload to reload the config file for all your changes and it'll come up once you do that and it'll give you a little message that you set up saying that everything is reloaded and you're good to go and that's pretty much all there is to the config files all right guys that has been the easy warp plugin if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and would you care to tell the people how exactly they can install this plugin on their surfer one last time all you have to do is go to your control panel look for the files tab on the left side corner go to the bucket plugin you type easy warps it pops up you hit install restart your server and then you're good to go beautiful yes guys it is that easy hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next server minor plug interview peace out dudes later